Hey, what's going on guys? It is Pwn here, and I'm bringing you guys some Resistance 3 multiplayer gameplay right here. I believe the map is called Seaside. I don't know why it's Seaside. It's more like a C-section. This is such an ugly looking map, but it's quite balanced. I have to say, I have to say, there's like three ramps going across the map. There's a little pit in between, uh, lots of little houses. Now, 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 the one thing that I've noticed, and I don't know if it's because it's a brand new released game, a lot of people are trying to camp in this, and I, I, even, I even played the beta. I had it before uh, many others did. And there was really no camping around. I don't know if it's just because the beta and people were just wanting to move around, see how the engine worked and, you know, how it felt, you know what I mean? You just cop a feel at it. And uh, the one thing that I wanted to do real quick is give you guys my personal review of this game. Now, um, they've changed a few things right now. Like TDM games, you play both sides. Just kind of like a competitive, like Call of Duty, if you guys are in that field. You play one side as the Chimera because they have different, uh, you know, they look differently too. You know what I mean? Just a little bit of makeup and they look pretty attractive, but... They they have different kill streaks. So so like uh, the third kill streak, for example, you get three kills in a row. And the uh, the the chimera, the alien looking uh, mofos with backpacks on, they look like uh, th they can have the cloaking ability. Uh, and then they have like uh, I think uh, there's three, six, and nine of the kill streaks. And basically, uh, the first kill streak are, are exclusive to each race. The humans have like this assault half bubble shield that they put on front of them. And uh, it's basically a cow catcher, you know what I mean? You just run around with it and eat ammo. And the best way to take those guys out are toss a nade behind them. Or you gotta flank them. You gotta double team these guys and just just run it. Just run a train on them. And uh, so there are lots of cool things about this game. And and I want to give you guys an honest review because I think this game is very very underestimated. I've always compared this game as the PS3's version of Gears of War. Now I'm not saying that like even though they are somewhat similar. I mean just like imagine you know aliens into the world. Let's do it. Come on. So uh, even though the stories and 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 the ideas behind the games are quite similar, the one thing that I really really love about this game. Is that it's on PS3? Ha! Huh? No, that is that it's it, it's learning, it's adapting. Um, I never really played Resistance One, but I heard nothing but great things out of it. And now we had Resistance Two. Resistance Two was the very first PS3 game I had ever owned and ever played online multiplayer. I went from basically Halo to this, and I loved the hell out of it. And I was told, and in, in, in just in, just a month ago, I was told Resistance Two online player was shit compared to the first one. And I was like, How dare you, sir? And and I really, really love playing this. I like the new map variety. I love, I love the custom uh, weapon loadout. I love how you have like the custom classes. They're learning. They're adapting. They're trying to keep up with the curve, but they're doing really, really well at it. And this, it has that feel. You know, you got the, you got the uh, random perks and things you could drop down, like the bubble shield. So it's like a nice little mesh. You know, you throw Gears of War, uh, you know, Halo. You put all of these things together, mesh it together, and make one sexy baby. And you come out with resistance. Now, I have to admit, when I first played this game, I was a little hesitant about it. There was only like one or two maps available. The beta kept going up and down, and I'm not talking about the good kind. It's just like, it was just unstable, and, and I wasn't sure about what's going on there. There are a couple little bumps here and there. Sometimes when you zoom in and zoom out, uh, when you aim down sight, it gets like stuck, so it takes, I don't know. There's a couple little kinks that got to work out of it. Hopefully they can, but... I love the custom weapon loadout, the way you can switch up your nades and what you want to use, the perks and everything like that. They got, you know, like the shields and the bubble shields and all the random cool little things. You got like the ammo and the scavenger. Lots of cool things they've incorporated in this game. And I like it a lot. And I also like the fact that there are only three solid kill streaks, the way that Call of Duty used to be. You know, like the, you know, it's, it's solid. Everybody's working with the same thing. It's balanced. I mean, there's a slight difference in between uh, the first, you know, three kill streak. And that's about it, guys. So the, the reason I really have to come down to say I like this game is because it's balance. It takes a few bullets to go ahead. At one on one, you gotta learn to you gotta you gotta learn to win the one v one confrontations. Two v one, you're almost gonna lose ninety percent of the time. You're gonna lose a two v one confrontation. Your best chance to to fight somebody two on one is grenades. So that's balance right there. I don't think you should be able to run in a room and just take out three guys quick as hell like in you know Call of Duty or something like that. Guns actually work in this game. It takes ammo to kill people. There's the health. Uh, the health regen's a little slow. It's not like oh no my shield's down. It's back. It's actually pretty damn balanced, and that's what I love about this. And the only thing that I, I don't like about this game is that it is very underestimated. It's it's not going to be a popular game, even though it should be. It should be. It should be as popular as Gears of War 3, in my personal opinion. And uh, and I know Gears has been always had this giant following. Um, and, and, and there are a few exclusives that are very popular on each system. You know, like Uncharted is more popular than this game. And, and I think I could understand why Uncharted is very, very popular. But I think this game needs to be out there. And a lot of people, hey, Pone, would you buy this? Would you recommend this? I would. I would. It's got the alternate fire. It's got everything. This is basically like the PS3's version of Gears of War 3 or, you know, Halo or something. And it is like the, it's a one of a kind for PlayStation. That's what makes it so uh, unique. There aren't too many games that have this raw, natural feel uh, as a first-person shooter like this. The, the whole fun thing, because I started and I was raised in, a, in an area where... 
you know, Quake and uh, Unreal Tournament was was boss when it was coming up in the PC world. And uh, that's what I was used to. And, and the fact that PS3 has been limited towards that has really, really been a downer. And, and they only release these games every couple years and stuff. And I think I think it's definitely worth the investment, guys. Um, I will be playing it a lot as towards whether or not I'll be posting it a lot will be completely different. I might put one up every other day or so because I really, really do enjoy playing this. I'll switch it up, switch up the style, switch up the guns, give you guys some nice little reviews and let you know what I think about it. But I would encourage you guys to buy it. Um, the only games I plan on buying first person shooter wise uh, throughout the rest of the game is going to be uh, throughout the rest of the year will be Battlefield 3 and Modern Warfare 3. This is going to be my go-to game that is going to continue through. I'm going to buy Gears of War 3 mainly for, you know, campaign, co-op campaign or something like that, which this does have, by the way. The campaign and resistance isn't too bad. And I know the graphics and, and the actual character animations aren't the coolest in the world. They're a little cheesy, you know what I mean? Like the facial expressions of the dude. I feel like I'm walking around looking like Dean Kane, And it's just like so bland in that kind of in that kind of fashion. But it does bring back that fun, and it's refreshing to play this. And it's not necessarily one of those giant mainstream games that everybody plays or multi-console or anything like that it's just raw natural sexiness and that's what i love about it it's got it's got the features in there it's got the kill streaks and i don't think anything's unbalanced or overpowered you got to play your play style and it's amazing so in this game i'm using the bullseye the reason the bullseye is probably like the weapon of choice for most people is because it's lethal and, and the one thing i did notice between beta and now is they have fixed the hit detection um it was a little choppy shooting this gun. I don't know if it's because, you know, it's like futuristic and it's like alien fucking weird guns and they just couldn't match it down. But this gun is actually really, really, really potent now. And I don't know. It could have been host. It could have been the connection and the servers during the beta. But it's actually a really, really solid gun. I preferred the carbine over this gun personally uh, when, the, when the beta was out. But now this gun is definitely probably going to be the, the try-hard gun, if you will, in this game. And the one reason why and this this gun is an amazing gun is because it's got like this lock-on feature, this, this homing mechanism where you have an alternate fire with every gun. Uh, the carbine, which is like the default human-like gun that uh, has like a noob tube. It's not, don't, no, I know, I said noob tube. Most people are like, ew, no, Pona, I hate those. It's not really that powerful. Um, the grenades are usually what the, the you know, the, the last minute thing, you know. If you know you're going to die, most people just defecate on the floor, toss a nade, and just let it go. So, I think the game, I think the gun is impressive because it's got the tagging feature, where if you use the alternate fire, you pin a little missile to the guy, a little homing device, and you could completely pull a 360, do whatever you want, shoot any which direction you want, and they're going to go out in front of you a little bit, and then lock onto the guy and start flying right at him. That's what makes this gun amazing. Cause, uh, and it's really good in 2v2 comb uh, or 1v2 uh, clutch situations where you mark one guy, and you start aiming at the other. Start shooting at the other. The bullets will be hitting the guy you mark, and as soon as he's dead, you're already aimed in and locked on the other guy. That's what really, really makes this gun amazing. If you can get that into your mindset, it can be really, really great. And right here, I got... I. I did pretty well here at the end. You know, I got a couple deaths right here, but this is this is a clutch uh, moment where you guys notice that it takes over. We managed uh, to win this game by a landslide. I was doing pretty well, and uh, at the very last second of this game is where I get my ninth kill streak. So I'm sorry you guys didn't get to see me go, you know, Super Saiyan Hulk mode on these guys, but uh, that's that's what's great about it. It's not it's it can be easy to get these kill streaks, and when you get the kill streaks, they definitely pay off. Like the auger is amazing. It takes a couple shots to kill people. But that mofo shoots through walls, and that's what I think is impressive about it. But like I said, there are lots of cool games coming out right now, guys. If you do have the money and you're a big PS3 fan, this is a must-have for this year. A must-have. There are like three PS3 exclusives that are pretty much always a must-have for most people. That's usually Little Big Planet, Uncharted, and Resistance should definitely be up there. Look at that little fucking sloth guy running around. Look at him. Oh, God. He's, he's on steroids. So anyways, guys, you know, that's my personal review of this game. I would suggest you guys to buy this if you do want to be able to do so. Hold you over till Modern Warfare 3, Battlefield 3. If you went with Gears of War 3, you know, I'd, I'd say they're about even up. I can understand it entirely. And I know a lot of people love Gears of War 3, and it's got a lot stronger following. But this game is just as good in my personal opinion. I know a lot of people won't agree with me, but I love it. And, uh... You know, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I would encourage you guys to check it out. I would give this game about an 8 out of 10. Um, not too many games I would even give a 9 out of 10. And there isn't a 10 out of 10, man. Tetris is a 10 out of 10. So, you know, that's where it goes. I've got the auger right now. If you guys can't tell, I'm shooting through walls. It's okay. Wall hacks. Call it on me. I don't care. So, you know, that's how it goes, guys. You got to see the kill streaks. You got to see the bullseye and work. You got to see my personal opinions on it. So do me a favor and like up the video if you really enjoyed the review. If you guys decide that you want to buy it or any sort of hesitations towards it, feel free to ask down in the comments below. Look at that corner camper. Get pooped on. Get turned on. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out Resistance 3. More to come, guys. Peace out. Get it.